Hello! This video is the installation guide for LG's innovative dual view flat OLED signage. Before starting, let me introduce the core technology of this product, OLED. Why are people fascinated with OLED? OLED has no backlight unit and liquid crystal, so OLED is unbelievably thin and greatly light compared to earlier panels. OLED's image pixels are self-lighting, making blacks truly black and making colors pop. OLED's images also clear from any viewing angle. LG now brings revolutionary OLED technology to commercial displays, providing three main products to meet the variety of business needs. First, dual view flat OLED signage. Second, dual view curved tiling OLED signage. And third, wallpaper OLED signage. The product I will introduce to you in this video is the dual view flat OLED signage. Because dual view flat OLED signage uses dual displays, it shows two different contents simultaneously, having unmatchable space saving effect. You can install the dual view flat OLED signage in three ways, on the ceiling, on a floor, and on a wall. This video is the installation guide for the ceiling type in particular and will be proceeded in the following order from unboxing and assembly to content playback. From now, the first step, the unboxing will start. Are you ready? This is the product box of dual view flat OLED signage. Using the box cutter, carefully open the box. Remove the styrofoam on the top of the box and lift up the box. Not removing the styrofoam on the bottom will be better for easy installation. In the box, there are various components. Shall we take a look? A display set, T-Con front and rear covers, a signage box, signage box brackets, a signage box jack cover, an AC power cable, two 16-22-pin power cables, two HDMI cables, an RS-232C cable, two cable tubes, two cable holders, five different types of screws, a remote controller, and a simple manual. Before starting, please make sure to get all components ready. Now, let's get directly to the assembly of the ceiling type of the dual view flat OLED signage. I'll get started from the introduction of additional accessory kit. As you can see, these are the additional accessories needed for ceiling type which need to be purchased separately. A ceiling mount bracket. A bracket cover. Four 500 mm pipes. Four anchor bolts. Four M4 6 mm screws for fixing the bracket covers. And five M3 5.5 mm screws for locking the pipes. With the accessories, let's move on to display set and mount components assembly. Using the ceiling mount bracket, determine which place you want to install the product on the ceiling. If the ceiling needs to be penetrated, please get the anchor bolts ready. Remove two tapes from the display set and separate the T-Con cover into front and rear cover. Connect the pipe to the upper part of the display set. The pipe can be put up selectively according to the height of the space. Put the bracket cover on the connected pipe and by rotating the ceiling mount bracket, combine it with the top part of the pipe. Tighten an M3 5.5 mm screw through the hole on the pipe. It's time to assemble the display set. Since this product is dual display, both screens need cables respectively for power supply and content transmission. The HDMI cable for the front side has the front label on it, and the 16-22-pin power cable has red marks. On the other hand, the cables that have no front or red marks are for the rear side. Please keep this in mind. First, 
Bend the 1622 pin connectors to 90 degrees so that they are in a straight line with the cable. Then, insert the connectors into the tube together. The other 1622 pin power cable for the rear screen needs to go through the same process. Slowly insert the two arranged 1622 pin cables and two HDMI cables into the assembled ceiling mount pipe. Take two cables for the front screen and arrange them to the T-Con's front side and the two remaining cables for the rear screen to the rear side. The part where the IR receiver shown on the screen is the front side. Let's connect the cables to the front side first. Put the cable holder on the 1622 pin cable and tighten it with an M3 4.5 mm screw. Remove the cable tube and connect the cables in the following order. Red marked 22 pin, 16 pin, and front labeled HDMI. Please do the same thing for the rear side. Next is the assembly of the T-Con cover. Put the T-Con front cover on the front side and then tighten four Pi-3 six millimeter screws on the rear side. Put the T-Con rear cover on the rear side and tighten two Pi-3 10 millimeter screws. Tighten six M4 10 millimeter screws on the upper side of the T-Con cover now we finish the display set assembly. Lift the display set carefully from both sides. Assistance is strongly recommended as there is a possibility of dropping or damage of the display. Install the ceiling mount bracket on the top of the display to the ceiling and using four M4 six millimeter screws tighten and fix the cover. Through the gap on the side of the cover arrange the cables neatly. Now is the last step of the installation, signage box connection. You're not far away from the end of installation. This signage box is needed for power supply and control of the product. On the side of the box, you can see various input and output ports. Since the product uses dual displays, all these ports are also divided into front and rear parts. The upper ports are for the front screen and the bottom ports are for the rear screen. Do you also remember that the part with IR receiver is the front side of the display? Fantastic! Let's connect the cables now. First, connect the red marked 22 pin, 16 pin, and the front labeled HDMI cable to the upper part of the side. And non-marked 22 pin, 16 pin, and non-labeled HDMI cable to the bottom part in the same order. Then tighten them with two M3 4.5 millimeter screws. Put the jack cover on to protect the cables and fix it with two more M3 4.5 millimeter screws. Finally, Connect the power cable and the signage box connection is complete. Congratulations! The installment of the ceiling type is complete. Until now, we have looked at detailed steps for ceiling type. From now on, let's play the content which will shine the display even more. In this content playback chapter, from initial setting to mirroring, I'll tell you how to execute content through dual view flat OLED signage. Let's start with the initial setting. Press the power button on the remote control. The basic setting screen appears as shown. By using the remote control, set language, continent, country, and lastly, time zone. Then press OK and the screen moves to the next page. The rotation setting page will directly follow. The initial display mode of dual view flat OLED signage is for ceiling type. So in the case of the wall mounted installation, both OSD and content need to be rotated at 90 degrees and for stand type installation, 180 degrees in order to play the content in the right way. 
so you don't have to make change for this case, the ceiling type. Press the Next button. Next is the Dual View Screen setting. In this screen, the names of the two screens can be set so that they will not be confused against one another. Then the Network and On-Off Timer can be set according to your user environment. This is the end of Initial Setting. Now it's time to play the content. Let's use a USB memory this time. First, insert the USB memory on the upper USB port of the signage box. Press the Home button of the remote control facing the front side. Operate the launch bar. Move to the right and select Video. Select the USB disk. Then, choose a content you want to play back. Great! Now, let's play a content on the rear side as well. The method is exactly the same with the front sides, so it will be very easy. Shall we move on quickly? First, insert the USB memory in the USB port on the lower part of the signage box. Press the swapping hotkey on the remote control and bring the rear side screen to the front side. I'll tell you about the swapping function in detail later on. But please don't forget that you have to bring the rear screen first to set and control the rear screen. Launch the bar by pressing the home button and choose video. Select the USB disk, find the preferred content and select it. Now, content are being played on both sides of the dual display. Let's take a look at the exclusive functions that can be used in dual view flat OLED signage, swapping and mirroring. First, the swapping function. Press the swapping hotkey on the remote control facing the front side of the display. Then, the scene on the front screen moves to rear and the scene on the rear screen move to front. Let's do it once more. Great! Next, let's take a look at the mirroring function. This is also an easy but surprising function. Press the mirroring hotkey on the remote control. The front screen and the rear screen become identical. If you want to cancel the mirroring mode, then just press the mirroring hotkey one more time. One thing to remember here is that the screen benchmarked in the mirroring function is always the front screen where the IR receiver is placed. In case you want to mirror the screen which is being played on the rear side, use the swapping function mentioned previously. Bring the rear side screen to front and then use the mirroring function. Until now, you've learned about how to install the Dual View Flat OLED signage. Now it's time for you to enjoy the various benefits of the innovative signage. The signage you choose has power to move hearts and minds. LG OLED Signage